You may have heard of this game called Nicktoons All-Star Brawl. The characters and stages feel soulless without the iconic Nickelodeon voice acting. Problem is, the game just feels totally unfinished and like they had to release it to get more funding. Today, I'll be exploring this game to find out why nobody seems to like it. To start off, the game is relatively bare bones. You can choose from a standard battle, a single player arcade mode, and online mode. The arcade mode is fairly simple and bland, with games like Brawl Out doing a better job of keeping me challenged and entertained with something like this. The only thing that you unlock from the arcade mode are avatars to change your online profile with, and game concept art. Yep, just pictures in the gallery. The online mode is pretty dead as one would assume with a game like this. There are usually under 50 people playing at any given moment, and a few times that you actually find a match, you're probably getting your ass handed to you. Now for the battle mode. The stock and time modes are pretty straightforward, but I have no idea what the sport mode is all about. I'd guess that they were aiming for a less competitive mode to play, which it definitely could be fun if you're playing with your friends. However, as I was playing alone, I had no enjoyment out of this mode, um, except for the achievements that I ended up unlocking. The battle screen itself also could have been optimized way better. When you return from battle, everyone needs to re-add themselves every single time you load it. You do this simply by moving your cursor over to the character you like, but I'm not sure why it just doesn't auto requeue everyone similar to Smash Bros or any other fighting game I've played. This really sucks when you're playing against bots as you need to choose who the bot should be every single match every single time you play. Instead of having a long list of possible tags, you are able to rename one of the 8 move presets. This means that you can have a total of 8 different tags or names in this game. Another big flaw in the rollout of this game was that the developers of Nicktoons All-Star Brawl decided not to use any voice lines for characters at all whatsoever. Just by looking at the trailers before the game released, people could tell that this would be no real competitor to Smash Bros. They were realizing that being a nostalgia driven game, and because of this, I was hoping that the developers would take a more goofy approach to the game, adding things such as crazy alternative modes to play, some sort of voice acting, or maybe some crazy items or stages. Unfortunately, we really didn't get any of that. Smash Bros doesn't have any voice acting, but rather short sound effects and grunts when the character is attacking. Very basic, nothing too crazy. Nicktoons couldn't even add that, other than the annoying ass announcer and the music that I turned off very quickly. And with these off, each match is played pretty much in silence. A very eerie, weird silence. The game publishers have stated that they plan to add voice acting sometime in the future with some update, uh, but at this point, the game has been out for half a year and we still haven't really heard anything confirmed, so I'm not very hopeful. It's nice to play as childhood characters that I love, but when there's no voices or even really sounds for that matter, it definitely takes a little bit from the immersion. Since we're talking about the developers, Nicktoons was developed by Costa Rican studio Fairplay Lab and Swedish studio Ludosity. Fairplay Labs was responsible for a few smaller games, with the most notable being Scribblenauts Showdown, a Scribblenauts party game. In this case, Ludosity is the more interesting developer, solely because of their 2020 game called Slap City. If you're thinking this looks a bit similar to Nicktoons All-Star Brawl, I'd absolutely agree with you. I could argue that the fighters' mechanics and movesets in Nicktoons Brawl are the best part about the game, and this could be the reason why, as Ludosity has essentially made this game before, just not Nickelodeon themed. One may even argue that Slap City looks a bit better, bigger variety of characters, stages, features, and from the trailer, it even has sound effects. I would have loved to try this one out for the video, however, since it's listed at full price right now, that will have to wait for another day. As you can tell, this game has a lot of negative things going for it. However, there are still definitely reasons to enjoy All-Star Brawl. For starters, the game is fun as hell to play, although it may just be semi-brainless fighting and nothing to really mix up a match and change it up from the last. The gameplay displayed in Nicktoons is honestly really fun, and I'd be lying if I said I didn't sink in 10 hours within a week of buying it. Sure, this is barely a Smash competitor, and will likely die out within 6 months of the last update, but it's still a lot of fun. This is definitely not a game for everyone, especially if you're on PC, there's a lot of other Smash clones that I'd recommend before this one. However, as long as you know what you're getting, and you don't set your expectations too high, you'll have a lot of fun with Nicktoons All-Star Brawl. Thanks for watching.